Here's an exercise by Steve Morris that's good for both hands. Now I'm going to be playing it on a Strat with a neck pickup, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to use the Steve Morris right hand position because that tight palm mute will be really beneficial at controlling the staccato that's required on this exercise. Before I get started, I said I was going to use his right hand position. He holds the pick in a rather unorthodox manner, and he's a great player, and it works. And it has its benefits, actually. You hold a pick with your first and second fingers and your thumb, and then you pull your ring finger kind of in to your palm, little fingers out, and it rests on the pickup ring or on the face of the guitar as your point of reference. And you also can apply a palm mute that's parallel to the bridge. You know, normally when you go to do a palm mute, it comes up at an angle, and you can't get as tight a palm mute. This works out really well, and it also, your hand works like a real hinge against the wrist. It's real good for all kind of... You know, single note things, I mean one note per string ideas and whatnot, and obviously for all the fast single note work on one string. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate this. There are two ways you can play it. It's uh, written as using down up strokes as one way. And then the pattern is simply a, a melodic pattern moving through the key of C. And if you look at the notes, you've got, you're starting off with. You have the F, C, and E, and then you just move each note up to the next note in the scale. So you look at that as being an F major 7, the 4 chord. Then you move up to the G7 chord, and these are all voicings without a third, by the way. So you see you have the F major 7, G7, A minor 7. Then you change string groups and go over for the B minor 7 flat flat. A lot of fingerings you could use. You notice how I'm keeping my little finger in there. Um, the print's really small, and what I've got in front of me, it's kind of faint, so I can't see what was actually written originally. Then you go to your one chord, because you cycled around. Now you're on a C major 7, D minor 7. Switch string groups again, E minor 7, F major 7, then G7. Go over to the top three strings. There's your A minor 7, E minor 7 flat 5, C major 7, and then... A minor 7. So do you see, it's just going up in a chord scale. And you could do this with, I mean, you know, you could... You see, I'm just going up in the key of C with a root 5th ninth structure. That's just food for thought. you got to see the notes and work it out. Now, he demonstrates this, or rather, he in the text, he's talking about doing it with a pick. But also, you can do it with strictly with your fingers. And before I go there, you could also... Do hybrid picking. Obviously, you can't get that palm mute thing going as much, but... So if you're doing it that way, it's pick middle ring. And if you're doing it straight with your fingers, it's P-I-M-I. You get the idea. And you can get it really quick that way. And then, you know, you don't have to ascend and descend. You could do... And you can even stay on the same string group. That makes it really comfortable. So there's something that's a little more angular, and it's a different kind of thing. And like he says, incorporate it into some of your solos. Take fragments of this, and it'll break up the regular scale monotony that can easily happen for us guitar players.